Hello, hello. So here we have it. We have the microphone. I love this. This is coming from my new set. And this is going to be my Patreon. Yes, sorry, my Patreon reading on Rihanna, the one and only Riwu. The legend, the superstar. Yeah, this is for her. Rihanna's chart sing absolutely shows success so strongly that Aries energy that she's got running through her whole chart. You know, uh, she's an Aries rising, an Aries moon, and a Pisces sun. So she may have that Piscean energy about her. She may have that look of a Pisces. She really has that beauty of a Pisces. But that woman has Aries and a strong Capricorn energy and this is why we're going to pull up her chart and we're going to show you reasons why there's so much success there all right first of all i'm going to start off in some way you didn't think i was probably going to start off because i'm not showing it all on here you can go to my patreon so she has this jupiter cusping um, her Jupiter in Mars cusping her 8th and her ninth house and Jupiter is a partner in your chart and she was with that billionaire for ages so there's no black mark on the screen it's not me, it's not me, it's not my nose but it won't go though it won't go anyway it won't go so she was with that billionaire man and that was in other lands and also the eighth house is like rebirth and trauma and things like that which also sits in with the chris brown situation and i think she was roughly going through her jupiter return when that happened and then jupiter whatever house it's in or wherever it's in it's amplified and it was amplifying that situation like your jupiter returns happens every 12 years and i feel like she was around 18 19 you know when that happened i'm pretty sure she was um yeah she would have been so uh it, that goes to show you that that's what was going on in her chart the jupiter the man and I keep saying Jupiter, but I mean Mars, ruled by Sagittarius. And then that bit being a big part of her chart in that sense of the man in the life of the man. Of, and I know that's a young age, but it's still very prevalent in the chart. This is about, I'm going to do the rest of Rihanna's chart. And the best time I find doing it is when I'm actually doing my hair and makeup um which is good i'm gonna use my ipad for reference so sorry if i'm messy but this is my well kind of not intermediate but um getting there i'm getting there getting there with it you know so we're on this chart like we said her Mars is her chart ruler, where she's an Aries rising and i kept saying jupiter mars i know and i do apologize so Yes, I do apologise. I like this little microphone. It's cool. I do apologise for that. And, um, yeah, we're going to look it into this more. We're going to look into this more and see um, what I was saying about how foreign places were important because she met that billionaire and they were together for quite a long time. And then she had the trauma with Chris Brown before that. So her love's come from foreign places with the eighth house, but there's also trauma there because it's cusping on it. Rihanna's birth chart. Right, so here we go. And she's, um, I want to show you this to this, but I can't really show you. So her first house, um, on the ascendant cusp, uh, her Jupiter is in the first house, but it's cusping onto the second house. This is like, um, I think this is this whole house system actually. Um, so her Jupiter would actually be into her second house into the Taurus because it's right on the end of Aries there whereas her Aries is above the ascent her Aries moon and her Aries Venus and then her Pisces self node are all in the 12th house so she has got a heck of a stellium there in that first house you see 
So the beauty, that's where the beauty comes with the first house. She's got that essence of Aries. Woo, come on, Root, boy, boy, come on, get it up. You better, 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 better get it up. That is so Aries, you know. Um, whatever she does, she has got um, that Capricorn Midheaven as well with Neptune in there, which makes, you know, all her, how, how all her music videos were really like, oh, I don't know. To me, they were electrifying and like, really couldn't keep your eyes off her I know, I know it's her being beautiful but she's got um what people of my generation are born in with that Neptunian in Capricorn and her Saturn isn't but her Neptune and Uranus are in the 10th house of Korea so when she does business she means it but she's got a uh, she's got um oh god sorry it's your sorry people she's got a multiple planet square so with those heavy cardinal energies of capricorn and aries you, you're gonna see um the, the mixture of those two in the chart so she's gonna give off that capricorn energy to the world whereas in um her home life so her uh, her IC which is opposite her MT is going to be in Cancer so it's going to be a lot more caring and loving and we're not going to see that side of her so much because that's her behind the curtains much like um, she's got the cradle aspect as well which is um, in Mars in Sag Chiron and Gemini Jupiter in Aries Sun in Pisces in the first degree because she's born on that 20th, like Kurt Cobain, and then she's got Saturn and Uranus in both in the zero degree. And then you get seven shapes of charts, and hers is a bowl shape. She's got a lot on the um, left hemisphere. And then the fire element is the dominant among the inner planets and the cardinal element is dominant on those inner planets as well. Aries is a large part portion of the inner planet. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about some Aries traits that we don't so traditionally um, talk about with Aries. Eh? Aries, I believe, can be very, very stubborn. If they're not going to do it um, anyone else's way, they will be doing it their, their, uh, their way. Um, that's just who they are. They're not like Taurus. If Taurus doesn't want to do something because they feel lazy, and Aries will do it just because of cause of argument, but they won't stay in that space for long. Like a Taurus will hold a grudge for like till the end of time, and Aries is like moved on. And especially the Capricorn might um bring out that holding it on for longer. Especially like with her career with like music, she like she hasn't wanted to done that for ages, and there's rumors about her not being able to do it because her voice is um being ruined by uh drugs supposedly um that's where i've heard multiple multiple times and that's up to her she chose the best business to get into um, and i believe her makeup's not makeup sorry and i believe her um underwear is the best in the business but she does also do Fendi makeup, doesn't she? I'm so, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm just like having a brain fog at the moment of like, um, her, I'm mixing her up with somebody else right now for a minute. Let me let me pause this while I just get my thoughts into action. <laughs> So when I put this onto Patreon, I'm going to put the pictures up of things I'm going to be talking about on here. So the chart pattern, the the chart at whole, uh, the so Aries rules ahead. Now let's talk about the shape of Rihanna said she's got a very large forehead, but it's still very 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 like, attractive. She's got that really attractive um, face. Um, Aries rules like the forehead, and the forehead's large. Um, <clears throat> the eyebrows are small um, and arched. She's got that sort of like, don't look at me, look, the sort of um, resting bitch face, which is very Aries, and it's very Aries moon. But because she, the Pisces charm is in there too, that's what's more, what's making it not so aggressive, if you see what I mean. And then the Capricorn obviously gives that boss energy but because her venus and her moon are in aries that is going to be very prevalent in her life and also because her mars is her chart ruler that sagittarius so that fire theme she finds a man who's got the 
And she did revise that Rocky, I believe, like, he's got, like, his Mars in...